Hey guys, Danielle with Pure Root Wellness. Um, we're gonna get nerd on you today, and I couldn't help post another video uh, just talking about mitochondria, free radicals, um, antioxidants, what they mean for you, and how we can help here at Pure Root Wellness. So stick with me, be a short little video, um, but I do get a lot of questions from clients kind of asking you know, what are antioxidants? What are they good for? How can it help? Um, so I truly think this is gonna be a short and sweet, but real informational um, video for anyone who is looking to optimize their antioxidant health. So truly the mitochondrial theory of aging goes back actually to the 70s. And when I was kind of putting all this together, I was reading a really good book and this one phrase struck a chord with me, and this is kind of what stemmed all of this chaos that you see in the background. Um, basically, the quote had said, the human lifespan simply reflect, reflects the level of free radical damage. And that kind of blew my mind a little bit, right? When you think about like your lifespan and you know how long you have here on this earth and, and you know kind of your life, your health, the lifespan depends on the free radical damage. So how much damage these free radicals actually did to your body is what dictates kind of your lifespan. Pew, kind of blew my mind a little bit. So where does it all begin then? When, when we kind of talk about, you know, you simply say, okay, how do I prevent free radical damage then? Here we go. Sunshine. It all starts with the sunshine, right? Sunshine gives us energy, gives us plants energy, um, gives pretty much everything that kind of is a being entity, the energy to exist. The plants soak up the sun, okay? They make chlorophyll, they have the building blocks of all of what they need to, again, be kind of a living being per se. We, hopefully, eat the plants and gain that energy, gain those electrons and atoms and molecules inside our body to thrive or, you know, optimize our health, I should say. I put a little moo moo cow here. I'm hoping, <laughs> um, the cow is eating plants as well. If they're not eating plants, we have a bigger issue. This is why I always say grass-fed, grass-finished beef or um, you know, other animal products is truly optimal and best. If it's eating grains, if it's eating um, you know, processed corn or corn that was um, heavily pesticide, you know, that's not what you're gonna get out of this whole picture. So grass-fed, grass-finished um, meats is truly the key. But nonetheless, the we eat the plants or we eat the cow that hopefully ate the plant, okay? We have electrons, we have energy at this point in us. We took that energy literally kind of stepwise from the sun to us to utilize what we need to function and optimize as human beings, okay? So here we are, we've got these electrons and atoms and, and things are kind of moving and grooving. We breathe oxygen, okay? When these electrons from this energy and oxygen combine together, now I should preface it, our body tries to harbor these electrons and this energy that we got. It's smart. It says, I need to hold it, I need to store it in the mitochondria, in cells, so the next time you need energy, you're gonna go do a workout, or you're just getting up to go to work and the day is getting started, what have you, it tries to store it and utilize it um, in a stepwise approach throughout throughout the day, kind of, to give you what you need. When oxygen and electrons combine together, and the body doesn't like to give these electrons to oxygen, but every once in a while an oxygen sneaks through, and these two combined. You have a highly, highly, and I do this with my hands, a highly processed or a highly volatile kind of connection here between these two. What you end up getting is free radicals. That's where the free radicals kind of come into play, okay? So you have these free radicals now literally kind of wreaking havoc throughout the body. Um, they're, they're highly volatile, you know, high energy, and they're bouncing around just going like wild little ninjas throughout your body, okay? So what does this mean then? These free radicals are, are wreaking havoc. What does this mean? This means that they're working with mutations and DNA. They're, they're literally trying to split up DNA and mutate and have a lot of issues in regards to that. Oxidative stress, they're causing a lot of stress on other systems, on other 
um, metabolite processes, okay? This isn't good. It's taking away energy. It's taking away functionality from other type of processes that are going on in your body and mitochondrial dysfunction. It's literally, again, taking electrons away from the storage system, from the energy system, and utilizing it however it may be, um, you know, in the body. So you have three big issues here with these free radicals and what they're doing kind of in the body, which will not allow you to be at optimal health. So this is where antioxidants come into play, right? They help reduce the free radicals. They are the scavengers. They literally find out, you know, sought out these free radicals and will scavenge them up. The problem is if you don't have enough antioxidants in your body due to other environmental stressors, I say environmental stressors, um, you know, crappy food, processed food that we're eating, uh, lack of sleep, lack of water, high stress every single day, not really taking care of your body. Um, that's where the free radicals will continue to kind of wreak havoc until you give your body the actual antioxidants it needs to remove these free radicals. So where do we find these antioxidants? Well, naturally our body will actually make them. Um, our liver is one organ that really works hard to try and optimize and get rid of these free radicals. They're the little scavengers that, that kind of come in and filter and things of that nature. So naturally your body does know how to make its own antioxidants if you give it the actual foundation that it needs, okay? I'm talking foundational vitamins, minerals, high quality, unprocessed food, foods in their natural state. That is the only way your body will naturally make these antioxidants, okay? So, and truly food is the best source, the best way your body knows. Your body knows what to do with it, okay? Vitamin C. Vitamin C, obviously, everyone's always heard of vitamin C, right? High antioxidants, um, you know, a powerful, powerful vitamin. Um, the reality is you can only get so much consumption through supplements or vitamins actually ingesting them. So here at Pure Root Wellness, uh, what we've started to do is do IM injections or intravenous injections of vitamin C, high dose vitamin C, truly getting to the source of your systemic system and allowing your body to start scavenging up some of these free radicals and helping your body optimize health. And I should note, Vitamin C, your body cannot make. You actually have to get this from a outsourced kind of, um, you know, uh, entity. So if you're not eating or ingesting enough vitamin C, please don't drink orange juice. Um, it's not oranges and juice, it's sugar. <laughs> That's not the way to do it. But, uh, you know, even kiwis and things of that nature, high, high potent vitamin C, um, you know, that's the way to go. But if you're looking for a better supplementation, I am IV, um, here we can offer that for you. Glutathione, huge powerhouse of antioxidants, okay? This is truly actually what your liver starts to make and produce to scavenge. We also offer I am and IV um, glutathione um, injections here as well. This, this is, if you're struggling with um, you know, just chronic fatigue and a bog down system, you're constantly tired, you're high stress, um, you're starting to feel health ailments kind of come down the pipe. This right here is truly um, something that I wish I learned way earlier in my healthcare career. Um, I'm truly impressed. I, I can't believe, uh, you know, more people don't know about the power of glutathione and, and how it can truly optimize your health and get rid of all of this garbage here so you can eventually get to here, which we will talk about now. So what does all of this do? This, and this is like in a small little nutshell, right? I mean, I could go on and on and on on the benefits of antioxidants, but if you're looking to decrease the effects of aging, who isn't? <laughs> I mean, the reality is no one's like, oh man, I wish I wasn't as young <laughs> and healthy looking and feeling as good. Um, decreasing the effects of aging are huge. This is what, this is where you need to be. The antioxidants are key, okay? Decreasing the risk of cancer. Again, another one. I don't know how many people would sit there and say, oh, this could help me decrease my risk of cancer given, again, all of the exposures we have throughout the day, the processed foods we eat, 
um, you know, even just working outside, if, if you're in a different part of the United States or the world where you're constantly being exposed to um, sun in itself, too much sun can be damaging, right? Uh, but nonetheless, I feel like for a good majority of us, it's the food. It's um, even the things we put on the body, the lotions for us females, the makeups and things like that. Um, you know, it's the little things we ingest every single day and these kind of micro exposures that eventually add up into big exposures and can ultimately put us at higher increased risk of cancer. Good news. Antioxidants can help. Uh, mitochondrial health we kind of talked about, but again, I'm going to go back up to the effects of aging. Those kind of go hand in hand, a little bit of a do double combo. And then overall, the optimal functioning of all body systems. Um, you know, I don't know many people that don't have some type of like health ailment or health issue that's kind of going on where they're like, man, I really wish I had a little more energy. Um, you know, this can help with that. I wish I didn't have so many aches and pains. I wish, um, you know, I just felt better. I, I wish my digestive system was a little bit better. Uh, you know, just something to kind of help us get over that hump and really be able to establish that op optimal health that we all know uh, is there. The opportunity is there. We just need to find a way to get there. And this is one of those ways. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to leave comments below. Uh, visit me at www.purerootwellness.net. Um, give me a call. My phone number is there. Stop in here at the office in Clawson, Michigan. Um, I'd be more than happy to, you know, chat a little bit more in detail about this, um, you know, how to kind of optimize your own health on what's going on with you. Um, I'd love to help. So please don't hesitate to reach out. And I hope this was helpful. I hope this was short, sweet, not too nerdy. Um, but uh, nonetheless, just trying to answer any questions and educate the world a little bit more on the powers of natural health. I hope you all are well and be well.